started. So I've already put my foundation on, which is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is really great for the summer because it's also humidity resistant. It's not only full coverage, but it's humidity, humidity resistant and um, pollution resistant as well. So it's really good for that. Um, it is a little bit more warmer than my skin tone, but you know, I'm gonna get darker anyway because it's the summer. And I did go ahead and prep my eyes with the typical usual Max um, Lay and Low paint pot. So yes, today's palette, we're gonna be using the Rock Chick palette. Now this one I was kinda like, mm, because it is like a very cool tone, blue, gray type of palette by Charlotte. And I haven't used this one yet, and this is um, on Charlotte's site, I believe, still. So yeah, we're gonna be using the Rock Chick palette, so let's get started. You guys know the drill, if you've seen me use Charlotte palettes before, we always start off with the primer shade and we put that all over the eyelid, also in the inner corner, and also on the brow bone. So now that we have that applied, and make sure that you really want to get, if you want, I like an inner corner pop, you get right in the inner corner. The second shade, which is the enhancement shade, we're going to throw right in our crease, and we're going to fluff and blend it out. You can use this Charlotte brush if you want. Um, honestly, I like to use my Morphe brush, but it's dirty, so I'm going to just use the Charlotte one. And I'm also, I'm taking it and I'm going right, I'm in the crease, but I'm also going right in the inner corner and dragging it upwards like that. And like I always say with Charlotte palette, you do want to build, even if it's on fair skin tones, I think it's always nice to build, which is, that's why I actually like Charlotte palettes is because they're really good for just like building. This um, Sigma, this is the E25 blender brush. It's fluffy, but it's also like flat. And I'm gonna just take that same enhancement shade and I'm gonna just build it up in the crease area. This is just gonna get in there a little bit more. And as I say with Charlotte, or any shadow, feel free to build to your liking. Okay. So now that we have that one, we're gonna take our Charlotte Smudger Brush, and we're gonna go into the third shade, which is the Smoke Shade, which is that matte color here. And we're just gonna pack it onto our brush. As you can see, I'm kind of focusing it on the crease. I believe Charlotte, she really focuses on the outer edge. So I'm putting it, focus, my focus is on the crease. And then I go on the outer, the outer corner like so. I'm gonna go back in with that Sigma E25 brush. And we are going to blend it out. And how I like to blend it is I just flick it out a little bit. And then I go upwards, upwards, flick, upwards, flick it out. So now for the fun part, this is one of my most favorite pop shades. 
whatever. You can put this on top of a blue, on top of a black. Her pop shades, you can also put them on other shadows. You don't have to use Charlotte. And I'm just gonna pop this right on the lid. I'm going to use Charlotte's Bedroom Black Eyeliner, pop this in the waterline. The Rock Chick look, she kind of has like the liner going like all around, but I think I just kind of want to do it like under here, kind of like a reverse, kind of like a reverse um, smoky eye, or reverse I guess. I kinda, I, I'm going to just focus it underneath here, the black. You kind of want to go in and smudge it right after, so before it dries. And I like to take this pencil brush, I like to like flick it out. Never worry about it being like messy because you can always just go in. You're going to always go in and like clean it up, if you know what I mean. So we just kind of made our little line right there, just a little start. I like to take um, an angled brush and just a matte black shadow. This is Carbon by MAC. And I like to just take the angled brush and dip, that, dip it in the black and go under. Cause we're going for like a smoky eye underneath. And the angled brush for me gives me more control. Then I take my pencil brush. Smudge it out from underneath like so. And we're gonna clean that up with our concealer. So that's why I just did my foundation first because then I could go back in when it comes down to the sculpting, like the highlight and all that, and then I can just like clean it all up. So while our lashes are drying and all that good stuff like that, I'm just going to apply some Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara.
energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me and this anxiety what the hell she want from me bad ex-girlfriend and this chick's obsessed with me i speak truth but only my reality everyone is hurting and i'm trying to be sensitive and give myself the love i want everybody else to give i gotta be the one for me because no one else is gonna be You never want to say when it happens to you Swear I'm not angry, it's just a phase But I'm tired of waiting to see better days If I said I love you, meant to say it to myself Whole world around me, but there's really no one else Really no one else to hold me like I do Like I do the one for me Cause no one else is gonna And I want to take the Juvia's Place This is their foundation stick this is the in Cassina. I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna contour. Take our Charlotte bronzer, our favorite one, and we're gonna bronze. Yes. I'm not for sure which blush is in the actual look. Charlotte has like the looks with the lipstick, the gloss, like the whole thing. Um, but this is Sex on Fire. It's the only Charlotte blush I have. I'm gonna use it. And you always. Swirl and pop the middle. This is just a max clear, like a max, like champagne gold gloss, and it's in very go light. Lee, I can't really see it, but it's a um, I'll link it down below. I'm going to take the Everest Flawless Setting Spray and we're going to set our face. That spray is really good. Like it's the bomb. It gives such refreshing type of feel, and it lasts. Like I've had this for like a year and have been using it a lot. And look at how much I have left. Like I'm not even like halfway through. So completely worth it. So here you guys have it. This is the rock chick look from Charlotte Tilbury, and super eat. It's just like all the other palettes. They go in the all they go they all go in the same clockwise method. And this one is a little bit more on the edgy side for Charlotte. And also, as I always say, Charlotte is not gonna be like your Anastasia. It's not gonna be like um super crazy pigment. It's literally like super model makeup.
type of feel. So it's like supermodel makeup. Um, it's always kind of like, whew, kind of like that. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. You guys like it? Instead of doing a liner on top, I just focused it on the bottom, and I kind of winged it upwards a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be well. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell. And bye. bye.